Hi, it's Jessie from the Primary Digital Classroom, giving you some ways to engage young learners um, with digital instruction. And so if you saw my previous video, I walked you through how to create a presentation in Canva, and it makes it very engaging. And so the presentation that we made looked like this. Um, now, it might look a little different now um, because I went in and I changed some things. I made some backgrounds a little bit better. And so as you can see, very engaging. Um, and so we had videos for students. Um, they're getting excited about looking lion. They're reading the song. They're having ways to interact with um, the skill that's being taught, which is practicing the reading strategy, looking lion. And then they're looking for the lions and then we're learning information about lions. And so what I'm gonna do now is now I have to come up with a worksheet um, for this class and for this presentation. And so I usually do it, I have two monitors, so I usually am looking at my presentation while I'm creating the worksheet. Um, but for today's purposes, I'm just gonna do it in a separate tab. Um, and so in Canva, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be clicking worksheet. And so once you click on a worksheet, I'll title mine, look at mine, and then it's a blank canvas and you can get started. There are templates on the side that Canva provides for you. Um, I don't usually use those, but that's always an option. Um, and so the first thing I wanna make sure that students do is put their name at the top. And so I'm gonna click that T. Um, if you click on the worksheet and then you click T on your keyboard, it's going to come up with a text box. And then I have a name. Um, now for my class, the classes that I do, um, I usually know which students are in my class. And so I try to um, also put their names into it for them to trace. Um, now to put a line, I'm going to go to elements. I'm going to click line, and then I'll have a line for them to be able to put their name and line it up. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to put that T box. Um, let's say I'll use my son's name. Hunter is going to be in my class. I would do Hunter make it a little bit bigger and then I'd come over here and I would type in trace and then I can use the tracing so they can actually practice spelling their name as well and tracing their name um, and again what I'm going to do at the very end is I'm going to clean everything up make things bigger make things smaller um, but this is just what we're doing for now so the first thing I want to do is in the middle I want to put the looking lion song that we had created. And so I'm gonna come back to my presentation and I'm gonna to go to the Looking Lion song and I'm going to be copying and pasting that. Now in Canva, you usually have to do Control V to paste things and it won't let you do it any other way. Um, so I'm gonna switch that to black. switch the font to black because this is what parents are actually going to be printing out. Looking lion. Okay. And then what I want to do is put some music notes around it so that way the parents know that this is a song that we learned. music notes. I can change the color of the music notes too. And then I'm going to find a lion um, and I'm going to click outline so that way it gives me more of a drawing of a lion. So now we have a looking lion. And what I can even do is kind of put this in the corner up here as well. give it a little something extra. Um, so the next thing that I want to do is I want them to be able to remember the words that um, were being introduced to, but I also want them to remember the facts about lions. Um, so I'm going to click that text box. So the 
first word, let me go back to my screen, is giraffe. Um, and so I'll have giraffe here. Because again, I want the students to be able to really remember all the words that we're using. Um, okay, so giraffe, and then after giraffe, they're learning that a female lion hunts. And so I want to do a female lion outline. And so this, again, this is where the majority of my time is spent, is trying to find the right pictures to be able to use. All right, so there we go, perfect. And then what I like to do is I like to just copy it. And so I clicked on it, I click Control D, and it makes a copy of it for me. And I'm gonna go back to my presentation and I'm gonna look at the next word. So the next word is baseball. And so I'm going to come here, I'm going to click baseball. Go number two. And then let me see what information. Lions rest for 20 hours a day. And so I could do that picture. But then that comes up black. And I know sometimes students get, um, upset when it's all uh, black because they're like, I can't color that in. Um, so lion resting. Mm -hmm. Again, that's all black. So I'll do this one for now. And if I need to go back and change it, I can go back and change it. All right, going down, the next word is beach. So I'm gonna click on that word, Control D. Line up the numbers. And again, I can clean that up at the end. Okay, a lion's roar can be heard from far away. I think you can also do black and white as well. That's kind of fun. So we'll do that one. See that one? Yeah, it's much. All right. Go down to my next word, skateboard. Control D. that we're learning. And as you can see, I already had this worksheet uploaded in there um, because what I did is I kind of took a template from another class that I did. Um, and so this is just reminding me that I need to insert the worksheet onto this page when the time comes. Um, and this also reminded me about the name. I kind of like the name better in the middle. And so I might end up changing that. Um, and so, okay, lines can go 50 miles per hour. And again, if we present here, so look at this, look at what they're going to be seeing. And so I love this with Canva. It's just so much more engaging. Um, okay, so lion, lining outline. Hmm. And sometimes you can see it, sometimes you can't. Okay, lion outline. And so I might click this. And then the beauty of this too, um, running, actually I could do lines. Um, and so I can do a line here, uh, making it look like he's running. So there's him running. Next word is strawberries. 
Cards. That's five. Strawberries. Um, and then the last thing is that a group of lions is called a pride. And again, look at this. Look at how fun that is for kids to be able to see. Um, So again, this might be one of the ones that I have to kind of make my own. And then if I want to kind of tidy this up, I can go to position and I click tidy up. Usually it'll tidy it up nice, really nice. Um, but sometimes it won't, it just kind of depends. Um, so then I'll come and kind of line things up. Um, and again, what I really wanted to do was change this up here. Um, and so instead of writing name at the top, I'm actually gonna make a copy of that. I'll make the name a little bit bigger. Okay. And then I'm actually going to do an outline of crayons. That way they know that they can color that too. Or that we're going to be coloring. Um, and so then there's your worksheet. Um, and so I'll come and make these a little bit better, more spaced out. And what I'm having them do is whenever we learned a fact about um, about a lion, then they're coming and they're coloring it. And whenever we learn a new word, we're coming and we're coloring that word. Now for this one here, because I want this to be one picture, I can actually highlight the whole thing and click group. And then it actually makes it one picture. Um, and so that's a little strategy you can do too. And then when you're ready to upload it, you click download. You can click PDF standard or PDF print and then it'll download onto the computer. Um, and so when you open it up, boom, there's your worksheet. And so you can just kind of play around with it. So I hope that that was helpful. Um, reach out to me if you have any questions, leave questions in the comments. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe to this video, and I hope you're having an awesome day. All right, bye.